Hey everyone, you're listening to episode 131 of the Keto Diet Podcast. And today I'm sharing a little life update about sailing over the last five weeks with my husband, Kevin. Hey, episode 131. That's a lot of episodes. <laughs> yeah, it is. It totally is. It's so crazy, right? We have no announcements today, but if you want to help more people find this show, you can go to healthfulpursuit.com slash review. Just leave your honest review with a star rating and boom, that's it. Recording this podcast is one of my most favorite things. And I also really like when Kevin comes and joins me and we just hang out and chat about all the things. And thank you so much for supporting the show. You guys are so awesome. Okay, let's do this thing. Welcome to the Keto Diet Podcast, the show all about keto for women so you can burn fat, balance your hormones, and heal your body. Starting and maintaining keto can be challenging without the right support. So just for listening to the podcast, I want to give you 20% off the keto beginning with the coupon code Keto Podcast. That's all one word. This 30-day program gives you a clear step-by-step how-to so you can quickly adapt to a ketogenic diet, avoid common struggles, and get the results you crave. Go to healthfulpursuit.com slash begin to get your keto beginning discount today. If you're new around these parts, I'm Leanne Vogel. You may know me as the international best-selling author of The Keto Diet, founder of happyketobody.com, or maybe you know me as the nutritionist that likes dipping pork rinds in avocado oil mayo. I'm so glad you're here with me today. Thanks so much for listening. So we bought our boat in September with how much experience? Zero. <laughs> and it's uh, it's a 60 foot catamaran yeah so it's not like a little boat it's a big boat with no experience and i don't think i realized how crazy that idea was until probably the first time we worked with a captain like when we worked with jen learning the boat and i was like oh my gosh what have we gotten ourselves into really did you feel that way not at all no i'm I'm like this isn't so bad what (laughs) But everybody is like, such a big boat, you know, you should have gotten a smaller boat. And I'm like, this boat doesn't feel that big, but I'm probably wrong. (laughs) And then we were on the boat and we were learning things and I'm like, that's not so bad. Oh my gosh. You remember how overwhelmed, like I was crying when we were trying to learn how to dock. I just totally lost it. Remember with Jen? I just, I couldn't do it. Yeah. It's been, I think for you, you're the type of person that's just, when you commit to something, you're just like, okay, I'm doing it. But for me, it's like a whole process of navigating everything for myself. And like, I just, I think I get... I think it's just in your head though, because you've been doing so well. It's not (laughs) like, it's not like you're still struggling. I mean, you learned all the things that I learned better, even better than I did. So it's all, I think it's a perception. It's not that you're actually overwhelmed. It's just... I it's overwhelm a myself. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like our travel days. So to give you guys some background, we bought our boat in September of 2018. And then we spent um, about four or five months working on it, learning. We hired a bunch of different captains to teach us how to use the boat properly and safely. Uh, also, it was an insurance requirement. So we did that. And then January 17th of 2019, we set off with my dad, who has zero sailing experience, um, to come to the Bahamas and cruise around and work and cruise and work and cruise. Yeah. Yeah. And so it's been five weeks and our travel days, I get really overwhelmed and super stressed out every no, time. Not so much anymore. Really? Am you I did the go? first two, three weeks. But... <laughs> I just, there's, there are so many moving parts and I freak out. Well, like, I think the most important thing is to make a plan, follow the plan. And then once we arrive and we're anchored, if you want to change it, that's when we make a change. Back to today's episode in a sec. Some people choose to do plant-based keto and others do carnivore-based keto, and I'd like to think I'm somewhere in the middle, loving meat and plants. I thrive on the right kind of animal protein, protein from healthy animals, animals that get treated fairly, have happy lives on pasture, and are raised ethically. This is why I choose to eat grass-fed and finished beef, free-range chicken, heritage-bred pork, and wild fish. I'm so happy I can get all of these options from ButcherBox, a meat subscription service I've used since 2016. Listeners of the show get a free filet mignon, 
pack of bacon and $10 off their first box, plus free shipping from now until the end of February 2019. You can head on over to butcherbox.com slash keto diet to order your first box and get your free filet mignon, bacon, and $10 off your first order. Okay, back to today's episode. And it's so interesting because like all of these lessons we're learning with sailing, would you agree that it, I don't know how to explain it really. It's just like, it's been a very eye-opening experience of the type of human that I am and where I have faults and not like bad things, but just like where I maybe am more impatient about certain aspects or I get overwhelmed easily or I doubt myself. It's just been very illuminating to the growth that I still have to do as a human being. I'm not sure if sailing in general, but probably sailing, full-time sailing will at least forced us to really tackle those in quotation marks shortcomings because you have to have to and you and you just do. Yeah. Like and would you agree that days feel longer so we have like more time but it's also if something bad is happening like there was a really scary situation our first week where we anchored, so we dropped our little anchor in the sand, and we pulled back on it, and it was good, and then the next morning, um, the wind started picking up to, like, 30 knots, which is, like, a fair amount of wind. And, and we, were, we knew it. And we knew. Yeah. And so we go to raise our anchor, and our anchor gets stuck. Yeah. Like, our anchor our chain. anchor chain got stuck in the chain locker between the winch and uh, where it comes into the chain locker. So basically, if you have no idea what we're saying... <laughs> Anchor that's not coming up. This yeah. is the situation. Scary winds. It's raining. We need to move because our boat's being blown toward the shore, which is never a good situation. The anchor won't come up. It's completely locked in place. And I started, like, I was and freaking out. I'd like to clarify, though. The anchor did come halfway up. It came halfway. Which, which made it worse <laughs> because now you don't have any holding. Yeah. <laughs> and yes. it's stuck. Yes, completely. So it was like... I was proud of myself for not completely losing it and like like screaming and crying because that used to be my reaction before, but it was still like, okay, I'm present to this moment. What can I do? Not much. I need to remain calm, but I was really scared. We figured it out. We problem solved. We all listened to each other and gave feedback, but I think overall it's been really almost nice to force ourselves to like pause, assess, and then do. And I think we don't do that much in our day-to-day lives, like looking back to when we owned a house or even with the RV, it was a lot more easy to just ask for help, but here we can't. So we have to be so, um, what's the word, self? I don't know. You almost have to MacGyver everything. You can't escape issues. You have to deal with them. Issues like boat issues, but also like issues in your brain (laughs) and like your emotions and everything is just so much more raw. And I guess to bring this back, because not everyone listening lives on a sailboat or a boat, probably like none of you do. But I think what I've learned over the last five weeks, and Kevin, maybe you've learned something a little bit different, but kind of taking time for yourself and stepping back from a situation and breathing and just checking in with yourself is one of the most powerful tools that you have. And it doesn't cost money. You don't need to get the latest and greatest. You just step back from a situation and assess and ask for feedback. And I think a lot of us have a very strong ego where we say, no, 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 this is the way it has to be, or this is the way I saw it, or just stepping back from that can be a really, really powerful experience and something I think everyone could benefit from doing more of. Back to today's episode in a sec. I've been a Fabletics VIP since September 2018 and just saved oodles of money on a pair of Pamela shorts, a Hudson seamless bralette, and my new favorite running around town pants, my Kerrigan joggers. If you haven't heard of Fabletics yet, let me give you the Coles Notes version. It's a website with a lot of workout wear for physical activities from the gym and beyond. And the prices are super fair, meaning if what's stopping you from getting out and moving your body is a fresh set of leggings, you can get the leggings and get out there. Fabletics 
Analytics is offering listeners of the podcast an incredible deal you won't want to miss. Get two leggings for only $24. This is a $99 value when you sign up as a VIP. Just go to fabletics.com slash keto to take advantage of this deal now. You'll also receive free shipping on orders over $49 and international shipping is available too. Again, that's fabletics.com slash keto. Unsure of the link? Simply check out today's show notes for all the details. Okay, back to today's episode. I wonder if there are other activities or lifestyles other than sailing that have the same impact. It'd be interesting to hear from people who might have similar experience having to face certain things and having to work through certain things Mm. that aren't sailing. Do you think, and like we don't have kids, but do you think like having kids is sort of the same thing? Maybe. I don't have kids. Yeah. You don't have kids. No. (laughs) (laughs) Um, But... I think like on a sailboat because you're so isolated and it's just you're just on your own and you also just can't you can't just be like hey go to your room. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what the equivalent would be on a sailboat. You can't be if you're a sailboat to the marina, you just hop off the boat and go, you know, go out for, you know, grab a burger or something yeah. like that, but you know, or yeah. find some good pulled pork which we haven't had in a long time oh my gosh (laughs) it's so crazy we'll have to do another episode together just about like provisioning and planning and food and because that's been a huge adjustment for us if like we used to just go to whole foods on a thursday for the buffet or whatever they is that is it called a buffet anyway all the good foods that you don't have to cook and so that's been a huge adjustment and i really miss chicken chips and we really should have packed them chicken chips and salami oh my that's our secret tip, by the way. That's the secret tip for today. <laughs> Go get yourself some chicken chips and salami. Yeah, yeah, totally. Okay, well, that was today's episode. I hope that that was helpful for some people. And maybe if you sail, you're like me too. But if you're not, and I love Kevin's idea, let us know. Do you have, have you had rather any experiences in the past or something you're living through right now? that you can relate to us in this. I'm sure there are other circumstances, like Kevin said, where people can experience this other than selling your house and moving into a sailboat full time. But thank you so much for listening. And as always, Kevin, thanks for coming on the show with me and hanging out. Yay. Thanks for having me. (laughs) Okay. Bye. Thanks for listening to the Keto Diet Podcast. Join us again in a couple of days to discover more Keto for Women secrets for your fat-fueled life. The Keto Diet Podcast, including show notes and links, provides information in respect to healthy living, recipes, nutrition, and diet, and is intended for informational purposes only. The information provided is not a substitute for medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment, nor is it to be construed as such. We cannot guarantee that the information provided on the Keto Diet Podcast reflects the most up-to-date medical research. Information is provided without any representations or warranties of any kind. Please consult a qualified physician for medical advice and always seek the advice of a qualified healthcare provider with any questions you may have regarding your health and nutrition program. 